Hello and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. Last time, um, Lazarus had some strange experiences involving some error people and, you know, things just happened. We also happen to have a lion's mane, which is really useful, and some random cat's paw that we're gonna use against this next boss. Hopefully that'll help. Oh, it's just Monstro. Ah, uh, we're still gonna use it. I, I have no clue what it does, so let's see. Whoa, did we just eat our cat's paw and get three hearts? I don't know how I feel about that, actually. I don't actually, that, it seems that we still have the cat's paw, which means I guess we could get three more hearts at some point. But I'm concerned. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We probably shouldn't eat Guppy's paw, really. That's not really like a kosher thing to do. I don't know, are we trying to be kosher here? I don't know. Generally, I feel like being kosher does help a little bit for some reason. I don't know. I, don't, I just like saying kosher. It's nice, you know, kosher salt and all that. Kosher salt is actually delicious. Like, whoever thought of breaking salt up into smaller pieces than kosher salt is absurd. That is the uh, strange quantity of chef in me being concerned about the size of kosher salt. I don't know. That's not really a present issue. Lazarus, get your mind off of salt. That's not important. He's probably so concerned about salt because he just ate a cat's paw and was considering that perhaps it would have been nicer. Ooh, evil book. Oh my word. Oh, thank goodness. Whew, I'm sorry. I just saw bombs all around me and I thought I was going to die. It was going to, <gasps> look, it's our little friend. Our little friend. Welcome. You're coming with us. Oh, it's our little infested friend. Wait, did we ever figure out what this guy does to begin with? I don't even know if that's a thing. Oh, I may have no clue what this guy does. Well, come with me, friend. Um, your name is Frank. Welcome, Frank. You are my nice colonist. Not really a colonist, but you know, we're gonna go with it anyway. Um, Frank, with me, we're going down here. Hello? Anything? No? Okay, fine. I see how it is. Hey, hey, calm down, melted face children. I assume they're children. I don't actually know if they're children. I just say that because they're generally the same size as Isaac, which I would presume means that they're children, as Isaac and Lazarus are both apparently children. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, the scale is somewhat strange out here. Well, we can't get to that, which is the worst, but we can go in here. I will take my loot, thank you. You cannot stop me from having all of the loot in the world, you disgusting, disgusting worm creatures. Actually, they technically can. They can do that anytime they want to. But um, I'm not really going to allow them to do it all that easily, so that's just how it's gonna go. Who's next? Oh, meat creatures. I hate meat creatures, they're the worst. So I think our little friend, yeah, our little friend appears to shoot flies. Okay, that's what he does, that's nice. Uh, Frank, I appreciate your combat via fly. That is very nice, I like it a lot. Um, if you could keep that up, that'd be amazing. Who's next, you guys? Nah, you're nothing. You're nothing against Frank and Lazarus? Who do you think you are? You got nothing on us, nothing at all. So wait, can we like walk over opponents as well with our stomp ability? I mean, I assume it would still hurt us, but, huh, that might be a thing. Now, let's try this. What is this pill? Hematesis? Oh, hematesis? I don't even know what that was, but we got a heart, and that's nice. I like that. Anyone else want to suffer? Apparently, these little poops want to suffer. You guys are pathetic. I don't even know why you decide to, oh, wait, right. I can just walk over all of these poops. Oh, that, that makes life so much easier. And what can we do with this? Range down, oh. I hate the counter pills, those are the worst. I like my items to help me, not try to kill me. Which is, I mean, this is Binding of Isaac. What more can you expect? The world is a vicious world that is actively out to get you. So, I would imagine that there are a lot of things here that um, would prefer me dead rather than alive, including items. I mean, we assume that Frank likes me. Frank may very well have some sort of nefarious plot to take me down by, like, just disappearing at some point. Oh, my word, I hate these spiders. The wall spiders are pretty devious creatures, it has to be said. 
I mean, they're about as devious as the actual legitimate spiders as well, but, you know, that's how it goes. Ah, nematodes. Nematodes have killed us in the past. I don't like them. What was that? Huh. Um, something just happened, and I am, uh, slightly concerned about it. But, overall, I think we can just get past it. Oh, that was a good bomb. That was a good bomb. Very solid. Brilliant. Delicious. Perfect bombs. Anything else in here? Not really. I don't see anything indicating, like, a secret passageway anywhere. Nah, no, nothing much. So I think we'll just head over this way, and this should be fine. Uh, the boss room is, of course, up there, but we want to go through as many rooms as we can, especially since we haven't... No, not this room. Not this room! Not like this! Not like this. Uh, can we walk over enemies? No, we can't. Okay. I had to actually test it, people. I know you probably think me walking over an enemy was not actually the best idea, but... You know what? Science, okay? And sometimes science is the way to go. Sometimes science kills you. But most of the time, science is helpful. Trust me, it's fine. Ah. Lazarus is doing his job. Luckily, when we do die, he will come back to life, which is kind of nice. I do like that. That is probably the best part about Lazarus, and really the defining feature of Lazarus as well, so really his one defining feature is also the best part of him, which is probably good, because if you have one defining feature, you better hope that that's a good feature. Are they all dead? I think they're all dead. Oh, we cleared out the nematodes. Oh yeah, what is that? I can't even tell. I have no clue, actually. I literally have no idea what that is. Um, let's check it out. Bob's brain, explosive thoughts. What? Wait, so we deploy a brain. Oh, I, I have no clue what that does, but it's now a brain with us. And apparently it already has a name, so it's Frank and Bob are both on our team. I'm concerned about uh, Bob. He seems uh, some, ah, a somewhat dangerous person to be around as he is some sort of disembodied floating brain, which is usually not the best situation, I would say. Let's just give some coins to him. Please don't come and kill me, shopkeeper. I paid you some money. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, he'll be fine. Don't worry. I've given him enough money to feed his family for at least uh, a couple minutes, maybe. And I'm pretty sure that's enough to placate him. Hello? Anyone? Oh, I see. I see. Well, we have a brain, which... Oh, wow. Okay, the brain explodes. Um, it comes back, right? Right? I hope it comes back. We're not going to go through that. Oh, it does come back. Cool. We're not going to go through the uh, death door as we have only three health at this point. And it's probably best that we use this against the chub. Hello, chub. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the party. You've just been exploded and are now poisoned. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you don't, actually. My entire goal is to have you suffer. Oh, look, it's a double heart. That's crazy. I like double hearts. They're nice. They help me out quite a bit in the whole not dying department of things, which is usually a pretty nice department of things. Ah, I would say it's probably my favorite department. Come on, brain. Okay, we got it. Chub has been eradicated. And what is this, a safety pin? Safety pin, evil range and shot up. Wow, we actually have quite a bit of range now. Huh. I mean, we have basically no range previously, which is a thing. Okay, well, we have succeeded at finally defeating Chubb. We have gone up against him in the past, and you know what? He beat us that time. We've proven ourselves far better than the disgusting Chubb. Um, hello? Caves 2, Curse of the Unknown? What does that mean? What does Curse of the Unknown mean? I don't know what that means. It's probably bad. I'm going to count it as, oh, wait, I can't see my health. That's not good. That's probably what Curse of the Unknown is. No, Frank Bob, why must we suffer this way? Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm actually not that concerned about that. I mean, we can deal with it. Frank, Bob, we're going to be fine. 
uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we shall venture out into this dungeon, despite the fact that we have no concept of how much health we have. Actually, we do. We have six health right now, but, you know, once we get hurt, it's going to be a bit more concerning. So, until next time, thanks for watching, and of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>